Why was the Windows subsystem for Linux originally created? The Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL, originally started as a project called Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. This was unveiled at Build 2016. It responded to a very high user demand from developers to be able to use Bash productivity tools directly on their Windows machine. But we actually implemented a lot more than just Bash because we implemented the entire application binary interface for the Linux kernel using a translation link. And so this meant you could run all kinds of L64 Linux binaries on your Windows machine. A year later, we transitioned the name from a bash on Ubuntu on Windows to the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WCL, which is what it's called today, because we unveiled the ability to, act, um, to install more than one distribution inside of WCL. At the time, this included Debian and OpenSUSE, and you could install these three distributions via the Microsoft Store. And ever since then, we've been adding more features so you can use awesome Linux workflows, tools, utilities, and applications all directly on your Windows machine.